All right, so I'm gonna bring you one last video on the Coralife BioCube. Uh, this, this tank is going away. Um, I'm gonna tell you why here in just a few minutes, but um, I've had it for close to five years or about five years. Um, for the most part, it's served me well. It's my, you know, it's what got me into reefing. Uh, it's the first reef tank I had, I should say. It's not what got me into it, but um, it's how I learned. Um, and then after, um, two, three years of, of, you know, this tank, I was able to uh, uh, move on to 125 gallon, which is across the room over there. But um, it's time for this to go, and I'll tell you why, um, and uh, let's just get into it. So you'll notice that uh, the tank is super blue right now. Um, the reason being is I've been having struggles big time struggles with the lighting on this. Um, <clears throat> what I'm using is Steve's LEDs. They're retrofit lights that fit into the lid on a BioCube. They're good lights as far as providing you everything you need to grow any type of coral. And they've, for the most part, done me well for the past five years uh, until recently. I've had a couple minor problems along the way. I think I had to buy a new controller. Their controllers aren't by any means great but they do the job. Um, but recently I've had a lot of problems and what I started noticing was that the lighting just didn't look quite right, which told me that the either the whites or the blues or both weren't, uh, basically they weren't lighting up to their full potential. I messed around with things, did some researching, and the first thing I kind of figured was that the controller had gone bad. So I went to Steve's LED's website and uh, they no longer make the Typhoon controller, which is what I bought when we, uh, when we ordered the unit. And I also bought one replacement along the way because like I said earlier, the, I had to replace it. One had gone bad. So <clears throat> get the new controller, um, or couldn't get that one. So I had to buy one of two new controllers that they offered. And I went with the Bluefish um, Wi-Fi controller so I could control it from my phone. Um, seems seems like a pretty good thing to be able to control a, 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 your reef lighting from the phone. So um, I dealt with that. Um, I'm gonna say this, and I don't say, I try to refrain from saying a lot of bad things about a company or other people in the hobby, but Steve's LEDs, your customer service is lacking, let me tell you. You can't get anybody on the phone. You ha when you email, you get a response usually a day or two days later. And when you're trying to sh troubleshoot a problem, you know, by the time I was able to troubleshoot everything I could, I lost a bunch of coral because my lighting was bad. That's the bottom line. I'm not gonna go through the whole rigmarole, but I got a new controller, thought it was gonna be super easy to use and work great from my phone not happening um, had a lot of problems with it couldn't figure out how to get it programmed there's nothing out there on YouTube the cons the instructions are, are pretty poor um, basically came to figure out that the controller wasn't the problem and it was either the wire or the driver so I bought a new wire and I bought a new driver again we're talking two weeks into the mess now because of waiting a day or two days to get responses when I'm trying to troubleshoot. Install the new driver, install the new wire, lights start working again without the controller. I can get full spec or you know full spectrum. Whites and blues will light up all the way 100%. Plug the controller back in and they still won't. The new controller or the old controller. So I'm stuck with either going all whites or all blues. And what I've decided to do just because I can't be here to monitor all the time is to just pretty much go all blue um, and hope that I don't bleed. Whether, in, in order to avoid trying to bleach, out, or not trying, but in order to avoid bleaching all corals. I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not. Again, I'm not the most seasoned reefer, so let me know if I should have done something different. I had some control of the intensity with the uh, with the tuning knobs that are at the top of, of what, that come with the Steve's LEDs, but um, it wasn't to my liking, I guess, as far as um, having the whites on. I could only have one or the other on 
by the way, too, um, for whatever reason. But that being said, here we are now, and I came to the crossroads where I wasn't getting any, any further help, uh, and I just decided, hey, I'm going to have to buy new lights or do something different. Spending four or five hundred bucks on a new lighting system, I just decided to put that money towards a new tank. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. It's ordered. By the time this video airs, it may even be here. Um, and we'll do a full series on that tank. Um, let me take you through right now and just show you what's salvaged. Um, and if we, and I'll let you guys let me know if you think some of the corals in this tank are salvageable. All right, so here we are. Just checking out the tank. Um, you know, rock, rock flower anemone, a couple of them that you can see right there are doing good. Some of the zoas are doing good. Um, this torch is in real bad shape, although it's looked like this in the past when I had some other problems and I was able to nurse it back. The hammer and frog spawn up here, not so good. The hammer I got from my buddy Scott Cyber Aquarius, really not so good. By the way, <laughs> this is so blue. I've even got one of those, uh, one of these deals on the camera right now, and uh, it's still showing up super blue. Some acans down here doing okay. Some more zoas, uh, peppermint trumpet. I think that is um, the mush. One of the mushrooms right here is doing good. The other one's pretty much all um retracted um trumpet right there is doing good so i don't know we're gonna see what happens but basically we're gonna have a bigger tank it's gonna go right in this spot um but it is gonna be bigger so i'm gonna have more water volume which is gonna be nice in any type of aquatic hobby or fish any type of fish keeping I do a lot of fresh water and then I've got two salt water more water volume for me is always better there's just it's more forgiving something goes wrong it's more forgiving and you have less risk of anything bad happening but um, we can go through the fish that are still in here you can see the fire fish right there I got two clowns two snowflake clowns um, I have got, I don't see them right now, but a Royal Grama. Um, and I think there's a cleaner shrimp or two in here, maybe a peppermint shrimp or two. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's bittersweet seeing this tank go because it's my first saltwater tank, but it's time. This, like I say, this has served me well. And don't get me wrong, the Steve's LED lights They've done real well for me up until recently, and I'm not even blaming the mechanics of the lights. I'm not, when it's all said and done, I'm still not sure what the problem was. I did all the troubleshooting I could, not being a, an electrician or knowing much about LED lights, how they're wired, how the drivers work. Um, reached out to some friends that are um, better at that stuff than I am, and you know, I think I exhausted all my resources. Just couldn't get the help I wanted from Steve's LEDs. Um, it would have been nice to get on the phone with somebody and just be able to have them tell me, look at this, try this. Okay, that, that seems okay. Let's go through the next step and just troubleshoot me through what potentially could have been the problem. But because of that, unfortunately, you've lost a customer in me. Um, but... Um, you know, the lights still work. I'll sell them with this tank and whoever gets them after me, hopefully is better at that type of thing and can get them back up and running to where they need to be. Um, I'm gonna keep all the rocks and corals that I can salvage in here and all the fish, put them in the new tank. So nothing's changing there. Um, the new tank is bigger, so I've already got some more A Purple Reef brand rock. Um, ordered and it arrived. Uh, I'll be adding to the tank so I'll have more room for corals, have more room for livestock as far as fish goes. And uh, speaking of livestock, too, the NEM um, that I had in here, I don't even see it now, but it's been retracted and 
just basically a foot for a long time, but it's it seems to have walked somewhere. So I don't know. This was this video was a lot of rambling, and again, I don't typically try to talk bad, but I, I just I I got a vent and I gotta warn people that um, you know um, you could run into the same problem I guess out there. If you uh, buy the same product that I'm talking about here, when you look into lighting for your BioCube or your JBJ Nano or whatever else um, you can do retrofitted lights for. With that being said, um, stay tuned for the new build. Um, I want to thank everybody that watches my videos, that subscribes, that comments. Um, comment and let me know what you would have done different. Make sure they're constructive comments though. Again, I'm no expert with electronics or lighting, especially with LED lighting. And uh, I, I feel like I did everything I could. And with the amount of money that I was getting ready to throw into new lights, I just decided it's time for a new tank. Um, timing just as perfect. I've been wanting something bigger over in this corner anyway, and I think it's just gonna work out perfect for for me and, uh, and for whoever ends up with a with a used bio cube. Maybe somebody out there that's looking to start reefing locally here in Minnesota can uh, get their hands on this. It'll be it'll be a heck of a good price, I guarantee you that. And uh, they'll be able to learn how to keep a reef tank. Anyway, um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.